Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new match preview on the channel. So today we're previewing Sutton United versus Doncaster Rovers. So the match has been played on Saturday the 3rd of February 2024 from Gander Green Lane in League 2. So without further ado, let's get into this preview. So as per usual, when I'm not at a Rovers game, I will do a match preview for that game. So tomorrow I'm at Tramere Rovers versus Crew Alexandra. So I can't make Sutton away this year, so... Hence why you've got a match preview for it. So let's get straight into it then. So let's start with the host Sutton United. And they're currently second bottom at the minute in that last relegation spot. 23rd out of 24th in League 2. So so far they've had 4 wins, 9 draws and 16 defeats. And in the last game, which was on Tuesday night, they had a 2-1 away loss to Harrogate Town. Harrogate went 2-0 up and then Sutton got a goal back. And we were at the Bradford game and we kind of had our hearts in our mouths a bit because we kind of had one eye on their result as well because they are the place below us um, and yeah luckily Harrogate managed to hold on and get the three points uh, meaning that Sutton didn't gain any points on us uh, but before that they were doing all right to be fair they have drawn four games in a row before that um, so we are winless in five games however four of them have been draws so not too bad to say you know the second for a second bottom and struggling so the last win we actually on Boxing Day when we beat AFC Wimbledon at AFC Wimbledon by a goal to nil. And they've recently appointed Steve Morrison as well. He came in around the start of January. And it's fair to say he's done all right, to be fair. He's got um, three draws and a defeat. But I think the main thing at the minute is, um, you know, we're getting a few draws, whereas they might have been losses about a month ago. Um so they're tightening up a bit by the look of it. They're, they're not losing as many games. They're managing to, you know, pick up a point here and there, which, you know, when you're in a relegation dogfight, those points are crucial. Obviously, you do want to be winning the games, but, you know, we've not been picking up them points, and they've gradually picked up a point, you know, with four draws in a row. So they've gradually been, you know, decreasing the gap between the teams above them and um, giving themselves a fighting chance because you never know, them draws could easily turn into wins after Morrison's had a bit more time with the players but he is yet to get that first win as Sutton manager so I guess the question is is he going to get that win against us and speaking of us the away team Doncaster Rovers were currently a place above Sutton just above the dotted line in 22nd out of 24th place so so far this season we've had eight wins four draws and just like Sutton we've had 16 defeats and um, in our last game, we had a defeat, but that weren't in the league. That were in the EFL Trophy quarter-final, losing 1-0. Away to Bradford City. We, to be fair, we played okay. Not good, but not terrible. We just weren't ruthless enough. We didn't um, create anywhere near enough chances. And, you know, you, you need to put chance away. But if you're not even creating chances, you're not going to get them chances to put away. Um, which has been a problem in other games. So... Yeah, I um, thought we defended a lot better, to be fair, um, because our last game in the league, we had a 5-1 home loss to top of the league, Stockport County, all five goals coming from headers. So at least it were better than that if you're looking for some positives. But things aren't good at the minute. The feel around the club overall is pretty poor. Um, and you just don't see where that next win's going to come from, if I'm being honest with you. Um, it's gone from, you know, bit of momentum especially in summer where it was such a good feeling and um, now like you say we're talking about this being a six pointer for who's going to go down and also Rovers I'm sure you've seen the EFL statement that's come out lately um, you know about the unpaid fees for like Todd Miller's loan and stuff like that from Brighton <sighs> oh it's you know which situation I, I, in my honest opinion honestly who knows what's happened I just think it's you know there's been you're hearing stuff from certain people saying some stuff, you're hearing stuff from others saying other stuff. I think it's just basically everyone's trying to protect their own back and you, we're never going to get to the bottom of really what's happened because no one's going to say. Everyone's, you know, going to be saying different things. It's the same with everything with club. Like, some people are saying some stuff, some people are saying other stuff. It's just a mess. It's a bit like like Chinese whispers in a way. Like, yeah, you know, one person says one thing, pass it on to someone else. They say it's like different and you know, it's it's just a mess. It's no wonder, you know, people aren't happy. And I'm getting pretty sick of it. I'm losing my patience, to be fair. I mean, the club is not good to be around at the minute. And, um, you know, this is the last thing you need. You just need transparency and honesty. I mean, people are saying, like, 
you know the club is um, sustainable it's in a good way and then you're in with not paid you know certain bills and stuff like that uh, you know it could just be a mistake but who knows I, I mean it's not just that it's just you know the honest, honesty and transparency I mean it took the club 15 hours to put a statement out and you know it's a pretty brief statement I get it but I don't want to you know say the wrong thing and kind of uh, you know because it could be an ongoing thing you know but I don't want to say the wrong thing and put us in more trouble but at the same time you just need a bit of transparency with the club it, you just feel like everyone's saying different stuff and no one's really been honest and it's you know it's just not a good feeling around the club at all going into this match then um currently the gap is seven points between us and sutton and we have got a game in hand so if we win this game we'll go 10 points above sutton with a game in hand and to be honest i feel a lot better about the relegation situation if that happens it gives us a bit more breathing space sutton's got to get three wins and a draw at least and we have got that extra game which you know <laughs> if we do win then yeah a point obviously keeps us um, seven points apart with game in hand, but if Sutton win, obviously that gap goes to four points, which you know makes a huge difference. Then there's just a couple of results either way, and things can turn up pretty quickly. Sutton will get momentum, you know, from that win, and yeah, it's a scary prospect. Sutton win if that match to be fair, because our heads are already down. Sutton's you know tail's going to be going a bit because you know we've had one loss to an informed Harrogate and even though we haven't won they've not lost so momentum's building a bit so you know we really need to get a result here to stop that happening so in the previous results from the last two seasons this season at our place we had a 4-1 win against Sutton which to be honest seems like a long time ago now me and my girlfriend watched it in Malta on iFollow and you know lovely in the sun and things are going a lot better than they are right now it's fair to say and then last season, um, our first home game of the season, we had Sutton. one nil down going into added time. And we somehow won the game 2-1, which was an incredible feeling. And then when we played them at Sutton, we lost by two goals, 2 nil. So um, that brings us nicely on to my prediction for today then. So do I think we're going to give ourselves a bit of breathing space uh, from the bottom two? Or a Sutton going to pick up some momentum and close that gap? My prediction is... I really want to be positive here. I really want to say that gap is going to get even bigger. Sutton and Forest Green are going to get drifted away a bit. But I just can't see us winning. I can't see us winning this at all. Sutton's not... I know we're not doing well, but it's still a tough, tough place to go. I mean, it's a long drive. It's, um, you know, it's uh, not the best of pitches, let's be honest. Um, it's, going to be, it's going to be a tough, tough game. They're going to be up for it. They've got a bit of momentum behind them. You know, they're really going to be in a fight. Morrison's going to have them up for this, I'm telling you now. And, you know, we've just been knocked out at Cup, knocked out of a chance to go to Wembley. We're free falling. We've had this news about the EFL statement. It's it's just not looking good, and I just don't see I just don't see us winning. I think it's going to be tight, but I just can't see us taking it. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go for a defeat. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so my prediction. I'm going Sutton United 1, Doncaster Rovers nil. Anyway, that's it for my match preview. I'm sorry it's been quite a negative one, but you know me. I'm just going to be honest and say it as I see it. I'm not going to twist my words on anything. If I think someone's good, I say it. If I think someone's bad, I say it. You know, you just got to you get what you get with me. That's how it is. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Anyway, if you're new around here, please like, the ch like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and yes, yeah, stick around for more Rovers content and um, some non-league and neutral content as well. Speaking of that... That is my next video, which is going to be tomorrow on Saturday. We've got Tramier Rovers versus Crew Alexandra. So looking forward to that. We're looking forward to a night in Liverpool as well, which should be good. So in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.